New iPhones have officially been announced, so what does this Android user have to say about their new product lineup? Hey s'mores, I'm Shannon Morse, welcome to Morse Code. I do tech reviews and tutorials, so if you are looking for in-depth tech and gadget content, you have come to the right place. The October 13th Apple event happened this morning with some pretty exciting news for Apple users. As an Android user myself, who originally came from the Apple side of things, I'm always excited to see what Apple is introducing because while they may not be the first all the time, they are a trendsetter, so their products are very important for innovation and competition. Now it may come as a surprise to you, I'm actually not going to hate on Apple or their products in this video even though I'm an Android user. I've always tried to be somewhat platform agnostic so that I can bring you the best of the best and since I am doing my own show now, I don't have a co-host to focus on the Apple products, I figured I could start bringing those onto my channel as well and a lot of y'all on Twitter told me that you would be interested in that. Since I've owned many of these products myself, I'm definitely definitely interested in bringing them on here as well from a consumer standpoint. So let's go ahead and start with today's announcement with the HomePod Mini. This is a little speaker that has a backlit touch surface on the top for volume, play, pause, and also Siri. Now there's a full range dynamic driver plus a pair of passive radiators built in for bass, and there's also an acoustic waveguide that creates 360 degree sound, so it should sound great wherever you put this device. Apple has included their S5 chip as well for computational audio, which basically means that they will analyze the audio to control the hardware response, making it sound the best of the best no matter what you are listening to. They mentioned that you can pair these together if you have two of them in the same room so you can get a nice stereo response, and the HomePod mini can also understand when your iPhone is close by for an easier handoff. You will be able to use it with Apple's applications, of course, plus a few third parties as well for music and podcasts and things of that nature. Siri can recognize the voices of each person in your household to give them personalized results. That's very similar to what Google Assistant does as well. And this one does work with HomeKit for smart home control too. Now an interesting feature that they are adding is Intercom. So Intercom is a feature that uses the HomePod mini, but also Apple mobile devices to send notifications across to other devices like a home intercom system would. That can be pretty useful if you have a large household and you have plenty of people in your household and you want to get across notifications rather quickly to other people in the home even if they're in other rooms at home. Now as for security, requests are not associated with your Apple ID and data is encrypted as usual. The HomePod mini comes in space gray or white. It's going to be available for $99 for pre-orders on November 6th and it ships on November 16th. Sounds pretty neat, although I will most likely skip this product myself. Now let's talk about the new iPhones. So Apple really touted 5G, including a short discussion from Verizon as well, which they brought on stage. So 5G will be available on iPhones with the 12 lineup, including 5G ultra wideband on Verizon. First, we have the iPhone 12, which has a smooth flat surface and aluminum frame, and it also comes in five colors. This is most likely going to be that consumer purchase option. It's smaller than the iPhone 11, and it comes with a new OLED display, which offers more pixels per inch and a higher peak brightness of 1200 nits. That's very high. Ceramic Shield is their new glass display, which was made by Corning, which is claimed to be clearer, but also tougher than any other smartphone glass. I personally cannot wait to see the durability tests. I am sure that people are going to be going nuts with the durability tests on YouTube themselves. Apple has put in more 5G bands in the iPhone 12, quote, than any other smartphone. And in the US, they will also support millimeter wave. Now they have a new chipset. This is the new A14 Bionic chip. It's built on the five nanometer process technology for increased performance and energy efficiency, which is quoted to be 50% faster than other smartphone chips. Plus they will also have faster graphics processing and machine learning as well. Now the iPhone 12 comes with 
with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 12 megapixel wide rear camera set. It also includes computational photography, which offers better night mode on the front and the rear cameras, and it also offers better HDR. Now, night mode time lapse is a new feature across all iPhone 12 devices, and this is supposed to give you really, really nice time lapses at night. For wireless charging, the iPhone 12, the entire lineup has something new called MagSafe, which accommodates magnets and Qi charging, so you can easily identify where to put your phone whenever you're using wireless charging devices. And it will also work through cases. Now they did discuss a bunch of accessories that will work with MagSafe, including a duo charger and some third-party ones from Belkin as well. Although I am sure in the coming months, we are going to see a ton of third-party chargers come out too. Apple is really pushing for a net zero carbon neutral output by 2030, meaning that they would be 100% carbon neutral and they are getting there. They are working towards that. They have confirmed that they are removing iPhone chargers from the box. So if you are an Android user like myself, you would have to buy a third party one costing additional money. Now I would like if they offered a free add-on for folks that have never had an iPhone or maybe offered a discount if you don't need to purchase an additional charger as this would be kind of confusing for a new user or it might be kind of irritating to somebody who wasn't expecting it to bring it home only to find that you cannot charge your new iPhone if it's not explicitly noted upon checkout. I get that this is more environmentally friendly and that is something that I always, always try to push for, especially when I'm reviewing electronic devices, but it's also not very consumer friendly towards new users. I mean, don't make people spend more money for a charger when they are already spending $1,000 on a phone, especially as charging capabilities become faster and faster, wired and wirelessly. Not everybody uses wireless or wants to spend $50 or $100 on a wireless charging pad or stand, and not everybody is going to have one of those at home. Trust me, I know these people, they are in my family. They exist and they are going to be annoyed. I think it would be really cool if outlets like Best Buy or Walmart or Target or wherever you end up buying an iPhone from or your carriers offered a discount if you didn't have to buy an additional charger if you just have them at home or if they offered free ones to go with it if you are a brand new Apple user, because not everybody is going to have these chargers. And I think it's kind of interesting how they are taking this approach to trying to be environmentally friendly, but I don't think it's the perfect approach to it, and I wish that they would kind of build upon this idea. The iPhone 12 mini is going to start at $699. The iPhone 12 is going to start at $799. November 6th is when the pre-orders are going to be opened up, and they will ship on November 13th. Now for the ones that I'm more interested in, these are the Pro line of iPhones. Now iPhone 12 Pro is upgraded fully. It's got a back glass, stainless steel, which is interesting. There's four different colors, including a beautiful Pacific blue, and there's the new ceramic shield glass on the display as well. Now this one is IP68 water resistant. So I'm wondering if that means that the smaller ones are not water resistant. It also includes MagSafe. There's a larger screen with high resolution displays as well, and they also come with that new A14 Bionic chipset and Pro cameras, and the Pro cameras are upgraded from the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12, the mini version as well. So there are three cameras found on the back, including a telephoto one, which is great, and you can see the specs here in this thumbnail. And the larger size iPhone 12 Max gets a bit of an upgrade from the smaller frame with improved low light thanks to larger pixels in the sensor. Interestingly, they are now introducing something called Apple Pro Raw on the Pro and the Pro Max iPhone 12s, which combines raw photography and Apple's computing technology for more control over the photo quality. Now, as a raw photographer myself, I really think that's very, very cool, especially since you can edit everything on the fly on your phone. An API is also going to be available, which will let third-party applications also work with Apple Pro Raw. They also discussed video, so HDR 10-bit recording is is now available on these new iPhone 12 Pro models, and Dolby Vision HDR will happen on the fly while you are recording. And you can also 
edit right there on your iPhone too. You can edit Dolby Vision HDR videos. That's so impressive, but I really can't wait to see this in action in real life. I think it's going to be really interesting and it's going to push the chipset as well. It's going to push the processing power of these phones. LiDAR is in the Pro models for room scanning and for augmented reality, which will be very useful for businesses. It's also used for autofocus in low light scenes too, if you are really into taking photography and videos. The Pro starts at $999. It's great to see an under $1,000 price point, although after tax, it will definitely raise it up. That's for a 128 gig model, which they did increase the storage size, which is great. The Max starts at 128 gigs as well, and that starts at $1099. So these ones are going to be available this week, October 16th for pre-orders, and they start shipping on October 23rd. So you should have them by the end of the month. And that was everything. We have four new iPhone 12 models and a new mini speaker for the home. I took a poll on Twitter, like I mentioned earlier, several of you said that I should bring some Apple coverage to my channel. So this is the first video. I think it's really important to be platform agnostic, especially when you are reviewing products so that you can bring more information to your audience and so that you can be less biased towards any specific operating system. So I would love to reintroduce this brand to my videos since I don't think that I could realistically buy all four of those models to compare. I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> my question for you is which one do you want me to check out? Because I will have to purchase it. Let me know down below in the comments which one is your favorite and which one you are most interested in. Thank you again so much to my s'mores for subscribing and for watching. I'm Shannon Morris and I will see y'all soon. Bye y'all.